Ken Kings chapter 4 basi kalo kecho ku isuli yo kuna kwa soka Today by the grace of God we are going to learn tugenda kuyiga the altar that brings deliverance Echoto echireto kusumululwa the altar that brings deliverance Echoto echireto kusumululwa God bless you mukama kwa mukisa Second chapter 4 from verse 1 basa kawa kecho kwa Bible says Bible a certain woman of the wife of the sons of the prophets awo mukazi omukuwa Uwo mukuba bakazi babana babana cried out to Elisha saying Nayogera wagulere lisanga ayogera anti Your servant omuduwo my husband is dead Bazi yafwa And you know that your servant feared the Lord Erango manyingo omuduwo yatyanga mukama And the creditor is coming to take my to take my two sons to be his slaves. So Elisha said to her, What shall I do for you? Tell me. Why do you have in the house? And she said, Your main servant has nothing in the house. But a jar of oil. Then he said, Go borrow vessel from everywhere. From all your neighbors empty vessels do not gather do not just do not gather just a few And when you have come in you shall shut the door Now it came to pass when the vessels were full when the, she said to her son bring me another vessel and he said to her there is not another vessel so the oil ceased then she came and told them the man of God and he said go send the oil and pay your debt are you, you and your sons live on the left Let's raise the hands and say, Lord, give me understanding in Jesus' name. Can you find out to sit with your pen? pen you know, pen. So something I hate very much is, is, a, is, is a believer with the nicots. We are not down because we have teachers of the word. We are down because we have no records. You don't even have where you wrote down prophecy. Somewhere you can say God on this date of this day you will do so. I'm still waiting. People we don't have that place. And that is so dangerous. By in the name of God. May you grow in the spirit. May you learn to record. If you can record God your money. The Bible says. Come and buy from me. Gold. Gold. Even without money. The word of God is, 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 is so even actually more valuable than gold. You should record it somewhere. Mostly when God is speaking to people through the altar. Now today we're going to talk about the altar that brings about deliverance. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. And I'm going to use this verses we read there. There are only seven verses. But they contain a knowledge I don't know if we will, we will have time for that. But at, at, least, at least by the time we will be finishing. We will know something. Now the Bible says. The Bible says. There was a man called Obadiah. Wali wa musajja bamuita Obadiah. Do you know that the name of Obadiah? Ochimanya linyo Obadiah means the servant of God. Litegeza omweleza wa Katonda. So his father kati tata we bathed him and told, called him Obadiah. Ya muzara na mutume linyo Obadiah. Which means servant of God. Litegeza omweleza wa Katonda. I've started. Ntandisi. So you understand that so that you can understand that 
the things that make a strong order. Do you know that if in your name means something in you serving the Lord? Do you know that to some people when they were called they are doing exactly what their names are? No, Mr. Obadiah Number one, when he grew up, he got a job in the palace. But in his heart, the Bible says it was the chief. It was the chief. Uh, uh, it was the chief in the, in the kingdom. Bible so he was a serving the king. But in his heart, he loved the prophets with his whole heart. I've started to tell that about the. the, the Older now. Now, this man is not an usher in the church. He's not a, a, a singer in the choir. But in his heart, he loved the prophet. Come closer, my son. Let me tell you something. If you find someone that loves apostles, let them go to apostles. Their deliverance is in the apostles. My communicating. When you find someone that hates the prophets, they can never be delivered by a prophet. In the realm of the spirit, the altar starts from your heart. Your altar may be apostolic. Because you only submit to apostles. Which is not bad. But it's in your heart. Your altar may be prophetic. Because you submit and you love prophetic ministries. You love prophets. It means before I continue, everyone here, you know where you fall. If you follow me very well, you know where you fall. So Obadiah, his heart was on the prophet. Though he was working for the wicked king to ever exist in the history. He got a job to serve a king called Ahab, whose wife called Jezebel was the wicked person, the most wicked woman that ever existed. And Jezebel hated the prophet. Now, this is something very... I, 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 very, very different. And amazingly, the servant loves the prophet. The mistress hates and is killing the prophet. Do you know what it means being in a home? Your father hates prophets. But you love them to death. Do you know what it means being with friends who are not born again but you love to pray and even cry to them. Do you know what it means when your heart is, is bound to prophets but everyone around you has a negative they have a negative perspective about prophets. That was Obadiah. If he would tell them that he loves the prophet, they would kill him or he would lose his job. But he did it wisely. wisely. You can love God with the people who don't love God. You don't need to shout. You you can, can, the Bible says there is Bible God who even sees in the secret. You can serve God even in the secret. Without knowing what you are doing. You can be in a home that hates prophets. But you support prophetic. Because God is looking for the secret hearts. That are serving him secret. Oh, but there was in the parish. He was a serving God. He was a loving prophet. Even when his mistress. Was against prophet. 
the Bible says one day he was in the palace. He heard the king talking about killing all the prophets. And he was uh, being helped by his, his wife. His wife Jezebel. So he heard the king saying I will kill all the prophets. Remember Obadiah. At this point he was not yet a servant of God. He was just a servant in the kingdom. But his heart loved the prophets. Do you know that in many, in many churches we have people who don't love us and those who love us are out of the church in many churches the people actually around us they don't love us but we find that the people out, outside of our circles they love us and can do everything to see you standing strong Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Something that shocked me in the ministry. In the years that have been this ministry. Something that have been shocking me. Actually, when it happens, it makes me sit down and cry tears of tears. Only few of my daughters and my son can come and come to me and say, Pastor, are you fine? Don't they do it because they need the prayers? No. They feel like they should know if I'm fine. They are few. By the people out of this ministry. Who just come sometimes. The one that I pray even online and just go. Many of them can even call out of the blue pastor. You prayed for me. But are you fine? My mind is telling me that maybe you are not fine. How should I stand with you? Do you have those people? Ask me if I have. Do you have those people? <laughs> If you ask me in the ministry, I tell you, they are there, but they are very few. Very few. That they come to you without saying, let me pray for you. Without saying, please, pray for me. Without saying, please, pastor, pray for me. They say, pastor, the way you were preaching, you had the anointing. But I feel that. Something is bothering you. They are few. But Obadiah was not part of the church. But he had the plans of the devil. Plans of what? And he said I should do something. One day. Something happened here. I don't know what happened. Some people went out. Uh, like some people went out. They were. Uh, about of complaining of a certain issue that happened between ministers and and was not aware they will be complaining surprisingly a certain woman who doesn't even pray from him she looked for my number because one, one I prayed for her once she had a problem with her eggs I prayed for her God but she doesn't pray from him she never came back but she had them talking. Like, whatever they were talking was not, good, was not good about the ministry. And they were coming from here. And surprisingly, some of them were the ministers. She got the number. She told me she went into a certain home here to, to get my number. She asked for my number. She told me, I said, Pastor, I had this and this. And it is from your minister. They were saying it out. And I don't know what happened. May you do a follow up. I love your church. No, I don't want to follow fellowship with you. But, but I still remember that you stood with me. You prayed for me. I got healed. I don't want to see your ministry have problems. 
Frankly speaking, I followed up. No ministry, I not lie to you. Came to me and told me, this is the instant that happened. No I one. just came, followed up. I went before before anyone to come and tell me, you know what? There is something that is not good for a minute. That Only happened. that woman. That's what I'm telling you. That surprisingly, the people serving God more. I not even you that in the church. I won't say that you don't have those who are serving God. But I'm saying, people serving God with a passion, most of them, they are not even in churches. Most beautiful altars that are standing with the church, standing with the, the country, this, many of them that are not even known. But what's the problem? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Do you know what it means to know about the evil plans of the devil against the prophet? And then you hide them. You are, there is a problem. Do you understand? Oh, but there when he had, because the king was having a meeting with his wife, and was around, he was serving God. He had them speaking. We shall declare prophets of this area and this one on this day, on this hour. What he did, he had the two caves. He said, Now, who is to use these caves to pray? He had an altar in the cave. Because even his prayer life, he was also hiding. Because Jezebel, who was his mistress, would kill him. So he had the two caves that only him and God knows. The Bible says he took a hundred prophets. He put a fifteen in one cave. And a fifteen in another cave. Because he loved the prophets. He knew those prophets. You can ask yourself. How did he come to know. That a hundred prophets. He had a secret relationship. With God. And a secret Relationship with the prophet, never nabi. And he was in the house of God, in the yale house of the king. Yali mu nyumba yakabaka. He was a serving the king. Yali awe desa kabaka. Who ate the prophet? Achawa ba nabi. But for him, na yate ye. He loved the prophet. Yaya gara nyumba nabi. This time that comes, what will be said every year? And you have a problem with, uh, like a husband has a problem with the wife. Ngomwa mi ayino mu ombuzibu no muchia. One is right. I must tithe this money. Like, I hate all things of tithing. The problem of standing with God is ministry. And where you are, they are not. They are not even. They, they, they don't. They are not concerned. Do you know when you have a problem of doing good? And you want to do good. By the person you are with. Doesn't want. That is when the anointing of Obadiah must come in. We have many Obadiahs in the ministry that can stand with the ministry without informing their people. Because they know that the moment they open up, I'm sure you know what, I'm giving my first salary to church. All of them will fight them. So they do it in secret. Because they must serve God in every situation. In every situation. Obadiah say, I must serve God without the knowledge of my mistress. Because if he, she gets to know, she will call, kill me and the prophet. So she had to make, to put 50 prophets in one cave and the 50 prophets in another cave. Praise the Lord. How many times did you ever come through to save a, a church, a ministry? How many times did you ever come through to save a church, 
how many times did you say no? I must stand with the ministry. No matter how much my family will say. No how much my people shall say. I'm talking about the roots of a great deliverance. If your father has ever served the the, the, the idols. If you want to bring a root of deliverance in your family, start by doing things in the second. Things that make the ministry stand. Even without informing your people. Even without, you can fast for the ministry. Without the telling your people what you are fasting. Without telling them, because you know if you tell them I'm fasting, they will mock you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. You can wake up in the morning and say, let me fast for the country. Without even informing your pastor. Because maybe he may tell you, no. You will fast next week. What are you doing in the secret for the kingdom of God? How many prophets are you saving? But you know, for us the, the, in the church, we are the same people destroying our own. We, we rarely see Obadiahs in the church, inside. I'm not saying that they are not there. They are there. But we rarely see them. Many of the Obadiahs that stand with people, with the men of God, they are not in churches. They are in many offices. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I have, I have a doctor who is, who is a Catholic. A doctor. He's my friend. I've been with him for now uh, eight years. I think. But then I have a cutting. He has refused to 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 the convert. When I go there, I will sit in the scriptures. When I go there, I will sit in the the end of the verse is like you have one. But you know, this, this is the family thing. Bino bintu ya family. Wait, I will change next time. Linda konja chuka kurudako. Then we go back. For all seven years. I've been praying with this man. But he's a man. That can call me and say pastor. How are you? My salary has come. He's retired now. But he has, he has, he has, he has, he has a very good clinic. Because he's retired. He does he goes there when he's having a special operation. Again, I know special. You can tell me there is some money that I have got. Uh, you, do you need anything? Are you stressed somehow? Listen, this man is a Catholic. One day he told me, I know you do ministry. This month. He gave me his card to be feeling Maka with the fuel for a full month. His, this one is a Catholic. A staunch, a staunch Catholic. And we have people, we have people right now. As young as you are, you want your children to benefit deliverance which you have never worked for. Because the root of deliverance of our children starts now. Oh, but there was a doing that. Sacrificing everything. Let me tell you something. He died without seeing the fruit of what he did. So he had a hundred people to feed daily for five years. Do you know a hundred people to feed Dale in the five years like Jezebel was hunting prophets. A hundred people now include his children who don't know how many But we had, he had a 
hundred extra people. A hundred extra mouths. To feed. To feed. For five years. Live around this thing that you saw a city because you need a job. These man had the compassion of a prophet. He said, I must do it. I must feed these people. Now, remember he was working in the parish. The salad was not enough. But he was doing it. Because he was like God in heaven. He knows what I'm doing. So he took a run to feed those people. He took a run. Whose phone is that? Is this that thing? Hey, do you put a phone that is not muted? There is this something you should understand. What, what you know, you know, take this man Omusajono. is doing this not because he's waiting for any reward. He loves the prophet. He loves to stand with the work this of God. Work this is how we, 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 make, we do it long. I know everyone giving seeds. It's only because of the compassion of the work of God. No, God, I'm giving this seat. Because I want by next year to build a house. It's not because you have the work of God. That's how we have failed. It the sacrifice is no longer for the altar. You have become the altar. You are the one consuming the sacrifice. What is a seed that brings miracles today? And and in in it's a seed that you give because you have a compassion over the work of God. No, because you are targeting so and so. God can give you what you are targeting for because you have given a seed. But that seed will never speak for you in the future. It ends there. Now, what is the seed that is going to bring you to the end? It works, Ekola, but it stops there. Like we never tell God I sold my seeds. No, it's like you were buying from him. And it ended there. Now we are Praise the Lord. The seed that works today, tomorrow, and in the future that works for our children is the one we give so we have a compassion over the work of God not because we are expecting anything but you feel like you see that no being on share but let me give this to the Lord let me buy this in the house of God I feel that you need this in the church I feel that there is money in the, the church I don't know how much but let me give this that I can you are giving it to the house of God not because you want anything in the time but you have a compassion over the gospel that's the seed that you work for you and your children. If today you, my son Dennis, you decide to give a seed of one million for the protection of your family, God will do protect your family. By that seed, we never work in the future. You had the, your intentions when you had your intentions when you were giving the seed. You had your intentions but when you do like, but I have two millions. Lord, I think that you need the things in the church. Let, Let me give this for the gospel. Let me pay a TV that has gone to the TV. Let me pay you for a full month. Let me take my church and to the TV programs. Let me spread the gospel and do this. That person that is doing it with no other intention apart from supporting the ghost, they shall have vest and have vest and have vest. For example, how many of us have ever been where there is a wedding? They can plant a banana plantation for the wedding to show where the Function is easy. After the function, they are pruned. They will not allow it to blow. 
Because it was a purpose for what? But when our parents were planting the bananas plantation, even today, many of us are enjoying bananas that were made by our grandfathers who are, not, who are no longer even here. Is it so? Some people are even enjoying the, the, the avocado trees, the the mangoes, that were planted by our, 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 our grandfathers who are even dead now. But when they are planting, they just did out of compassion. Today, with the grandchildren, are you still eating? But that, that thing that you have planted, because of a certain purpose, ends that very thing. Everything you are planting for a purpose, it may serve the purpose, but we will never go ahead in the time. By the seed you are sowing, on the altar called the compassion of the gospel, it shall go ahead of time. Speak for you, it shall go ahead of time. 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 And speak for your children. So this man over there, he went and took a run. He found a manurender. Go a run. Just to give it to the prophet. To feed this prophet. I don't know how much money it was. They don't tell us how much it was. But this money might be much. Because he paid the money. And he died without finishing the loan. And remember this money. He gave a collateral. Of his children. In other words, the money was too much that the lands he had couldn't be acquired. That even one child was not enough. So the man that gave him the money with the collateral of the children of his sons. Not one son, but his sons. It means it was much. It was the money with the collateral of slavery. If I don't pay it, let this money serve us as a slave, as bondage, let my sons come and serve you until they die. That money was too much. If it was a little, he would give the land. He would pay it and finish it all. But how many of you has, have, have ever gotten even a, a, a wrong to give to, to the child? Uh, yeah. We can get loans for our hospital bills. For our hospital bills. We can get loans for children and stock. We need to go to school. But when it comes to buying the land, when it comes to buy something in the child, I have so three no one. They will tell you I'm waiting for the money. I cannot just go and take the money. But Obadiah, because he understood that he was obedient, he gave it to the child. I will give my son. And the Bible says, this man died without completing the Bible. But a healthy prophet, including the nation. When he died, after the funeral rites and whatever, the man in the temple with an agreement Woman, your husband before he died. He said his sons shall serve. As an exchange before his death. So I'm here to take them. His wife was called Naomi. But this wife knew all the plans of his husband. And uh, he knew that the man in the was a that was a true demand that was. I told you wait. Come back tomorrow. Let me go somewhere. I use my last chance. If it fails, come and take them. Now they are going to.
to ask. She is not the one that sold the seed. But she is the one that is being affected by the seed. She is not the one that, that, that requested for that wrong. But she's being affected by it. As long as that seed can affect me. Even when my mother is giving out that seed. That seed may, may help me too. If that seed affects anyone. It will help that person. Let me say it louder. If the seed affects that person. Save that person. But if it doesn't. It will not. It will not. Did I tell you? When I was running this truth of the Bible, the, the, Bible, the, Bible, the, Bible, the Holy Spirit took me to my village. Let me tell you something. One thing, one day, we had the one banana in, in, the, in the banana plantation. It was only one. It was the first on that kind of uh, banana plantation. And for us, every first food was to church. We had the nothing to eat. My mother was a sick. Mama wange I remember even my elder brother was also sick. So all our eyes were not banal. But I remember when I took the, 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 the uh, I wanted to go and cut it off and bring it home. My mama said, That is the first fruit of the banana. Even if I'm sick, you will allow yourself to die. By that one, you go in the church. You people are to die. But I will not eat the first fruit. Anyway, she gave many things that were hurting us. Because sometimes they would be for the church when we needed them at home. They will not manage because they had no money. Like sometimes he would give the first, the first fruit of a god. When, when, when someone is home for school fees, he would take it to the church. He would pay us. But that seed saved us. If that seed can pain them, it shall save them. If it affects them, it shall help them. I'm not going to the altar. That is the altar of a seed. A seed itself is an altar. Because a seed is a sacrifice that is speaks to the spirit. So a seed itself is an altar. But how do you give it? The seed that is given as a sacrifice shall pay the same people that he wanted to save. And he shall again save people that he has affected. Does uh, someone understand it? The seed of a sacrifice shall, shall pain people that he wanted to save. And it shall again save the people that he painted. Whenever, whenever you give a seed the people that it affects that seed will help them and the people affected by that seed that seed will come again and help them if you have given it there are people that must be affected there are people that must sleep hungry there are people that some school fees might lay but those people exactly that are affected those people that are affected they are affected by the what you gave are the ones that are helped by what you gave in I don't know whether it's the right Luganda. But have you understood? Now see this man of God. He gave a seed. He gave money of loan after dying and his family suffered they are in suffering because of the money they have never eaten. He gave it to the Lord. 
And the one demanding has time come. has come. It said that, it's that the seed that affected them and is going to help them. There is a time that comes. That the seed that affected your people comes back and saves you. Oh my God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. the Lord. Whatever you gave to the Lord. And it depends on others. And it is the same to help them. Have you understood? It? What pains you alone? It will help you alone. Have you understood it well? Whenever you give a seed. And you move on foot alone. That seed will help only you. Because it's only you that had that pain. But if there is something that you have done, that even it would help your child, and you need it for God, it means, since it affects them, and it's the same way that it's going to help him. Have you heard that very well? If it affects them, it shall save them. Whenever you see a woman sitting here, when the children are at home crying, she decided to come and pray. The children are in pain. Sometimes they eat when they are not ready. To being here of that woman, that would be at home and look after the children. But they came on the altar and did the things on their own. That is another seed they gave. If they are here, them being here, it pains them. They pass through certain things because of being here. It hurts them. But that hurting is what will help you. As someone understood it. Being here hurts you. They have offered themselves. It hurts your work. You may be there and open. You may be at your work and you work. That suffering of the work, it will be helped by the offering of yourself. Amen. Have you heard? Ask your neighbor that. Have you heard? That? Have you learned that? People who are affected by your sacrifice will be saved by your sacrifice. Has somebody learned? That is why Peter said. Peter for us Kufe. who left everything there, and we followed him. what will you give us he said that is very simple on the earth Kunsi. your pain Obrumibo. shall serve you a hundred fold of benefits on the earth you shall receive a hundred because they had the given sacrifice that was affecting others this man over there he did it crazily he did it crazily and did it after doing it he died without completing the day when they came to demand the woman then the woman went to Elisha the bible says that of the wives of the sons of the prophets Obadiah Obadiah wasn't a prophet but because of hiding the prophet because of sowing a seed in them it made him a prophet that's why he wrote the book of Obadiah in the Bible he was a servant in the palace. but because of loving the prophets because of investing in them then the gift came upon him do you know being with a hundred prophets and he's feeding them day and night and then the anointing came upon him and then he became the child of God and started prophesying. That's why he wrote the book of Obadiah where he said that there is happened. God is angry about this city, but he will build it again. This book of Obadiah it is full of prophets. He was sending them to the children of Israel. But in the birth of Obadiah he wasn't a prophet. 
Tell your neighbor that Obadiah wasn't a prophet. But because of loving the prophets, because of sowing in them, because of being with them, he found himself becoming a prophet. If you think this is for job, get somebody who is a drunkard and buy alcohol every day and see if you will not become a drunkard also. Whatever you sow is what you become. Tell your neighbor that whatever you sow in is what you become. Get somebody that sows in his shrine. Enter his house without telling you. You will find that in his room there are pipes, there are pangas, there are bakas, there is a pot that is about to make a shrine. The anointing you invest in is what makes you. Praise the good Lord. Mukamu munuji yebazio. Obadia ya siga mubanati. Obadia ya so in the prophet. And it met him a prophet. And the anointing of the prophet came upon him. By the time he died, he was a prophet. But the prophet has a date. But he's not the one that ate the day. It's other prophets that ate it so that they can live. His wife went to Prophet Elisha. He didn't explain well because he knew. He told him that your servant, my husband, why is he saying your servant? If the wife to Tony comes to me, because he Tony served in this ministry. He can say, My husband, you are servant. Because he serves under my anointing. So I'm the one that is supposed to know the roots and the way forward in her family. So because Obadiah was submitting to Elijah. And he was also a, a, a friend to Elijah. But he submitted to Elijah. The woman went and told him. Your servant. My husband. Is dead. Is dead. And you know. In other words when. She comes to me. Your wife. She must tell me what I know. I know kunga Because we, 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 I know your family. Like what she would say is not in you to me. Building a relationship with a prophet. It would be easy for them to to cry to heaven. Because they know. You know when they say you know. This Greek Bible, you are very aware. It says, What you they are very aware. I don't need to even they explain. But the English version said, That you know. your servant fed the Lord. Elisha knew that that man died. Ask yourself, how does, how does the pastor know you? that even if your mother comes and says mother you know my mother you know she offers what she can maybe she was taking them but all the time one called me and he asked me that my wife every Thursday you sleep at the church. And I asked him Thursday, maybe they will sleep in the church on Thursday. Every Thursday and every sometimes Friday overnight you sleep in the church. I heard. But he said, but pastor, why isn't she changing? Every Thursday she sleeps in the church with the intercessor. She sleeps in the church with you. But on Thursday it is by force. She doesn't sleep here. Where the Today I got your number. I wanted to inquire for you. Why is my wife not changing? What do you Pray in the night that doesn't I know that I don't know. 
Do you see how they bring your money that can see your money? Yeah. Do you see how they bring the money? Do you see how they bring the money? Pastor. She tells me that all the money she brings it to the church. That woman was praying for me. She was a younger sister to one of the servants. The husband was in the village. And the woman could and she could tell him on phone that I'm going to sleep at the church. Now they took her in the village. She was in the ashes there. And I said, what is the name of your wife? And truly, even if you look at the offer, the man she says she gives, the husband explained to me very well and I had her. Because she knew I'm going to help him that I help do you see how they bring the I know that is I told him the truth. Mr. On a Thursday, our church doesn't sleep in the night. And even Friday, we just spend one night, a night once in a month. He told us, are you sure? He said that wait on this day. I will tell you when he has told me that he has called. I said okay. I I know that I don't. Because I will not support don't what take I do. Don't put me in your confusion. I, 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 I can't support that. On Thursday he told him that we have to sleep here. Again, that's mind she she went, I don't know where she had gone. He, he asked him that that where that where is the church. He said at Genesis. He wasn't staying there. The woman was staying down there. Do you understand? He had rented down here. He told him that, don't you know this Genesis of Prophet Leo? Is where you sleep. Okay. Go and pray for me also. The husband came on that Thursday that here on the church my children were just smoking no one there was not even any sign that the wife was here he reached home and called the woman she wasn't picking in the morning, he came and said let me call the pastor called me when I'm around and said uh, no one slept at the church. You know, if you pray from somewhere and people go and say that my daughter was serving God with all heart. My daughter serves God. You know. Even when I'm in prayer, that is the prayer I do before the Lord. I tell him, God, help nothing. You know it very well. That it stands with the ministry. When I'm praying for you, it's what I say. You know it very well. That he prays for the ministry. You know it very well. That he loves the ministry with one heart. But you reached the time and told you, you know my husband is here. God. What do I even know about him? Why do you think I'm here? Why do you think I'm here? Why do I think I'm here? This woman knew that Elisha knew. He told him, Even knew that he's here. What I'm speaking of that. That my husband was fearing God. It's not about speaking of God. But he died. But he demands us, the demanding person has come to take my two because my husband gave them so that when he fails, he will take them. I have two boys. 
Nabi. A prophet. He did not first ask him how much he had. Because he knew that it was a date. Praise the Lord. He knew that they did well. They had eaten. That's why I always tell some people, even my son told him that that offer your body offer you. that is why actually the, the anointing works the anointing the anointing will offer its whole to that one that yes. offers his whole anointing will work perfectly to that one that offers his whole for those who serve it perfectly do you understand when you serve the anointing perfectly with all your heart it shall also work for you perfectly it goes both ways the man of God didn't even question the word of God what he did he asked what shall I do for you he wants to know the request because the one that is coming so what do you need she said, she asked, he asked her, what do you have in the house? Now, the first altar is the altar of giving without expecting. This altar will bring a very permanent deliverance in your family. It is called the altar of Obadiah. You just give to God. Not because you are praying for something. But because you want to, to, to stand with the gospel. You understand? It is the altar of Obadiah. Giving without expecting. Giving with compassion. This man had another altar in his home. It is called the secret altar. Tell me about the secret altar. Apart from giving lavishly, she is afraid to go. Do you have a, a, a secret altar in your home? Do you have a where you like a praise? Your secret praise in your home. A praise where there is oil. So this man had trained his family. That even when they have no food, they have their house never lack oil. I'm about to teach you about the dimensions of the oil very soon. The dimensions of the oil. Natiro kuigiriza ebi mu. You will be surprised. I even don't understand how you survive like, without oil in the house. And you are born again. I don't know how the altar is working without the oil on it. The oil must be there. Live on this kind of, of demonic teachings coming now. The people are telling people that you don't need the oil. The anointing oil is from the New Testament the, the Old Testament and the New Testament. Even Jesus got from it. Are you people are like, you don't need the only thing all the time. Okay. Kale. This man had a secret place in the house. And he had trained his family. That even when they have no food, let there be one in the house. Ask your neighbor, do you have one in the house? And you see how they look at you. And you see how they look at you. The oil is over, they just beat the bottle. It's whistling in the bottle. But if you want to know. That's it. Is the old time in your house? The Bible says, but you when you are praying, go in the house, close the door. Is that it so? Can you tell me the verse? But you when you are praying, go in the house, close the door. Is that it so? Can you tell me the verse? But you when you are praying, go in the house, close the door. The Father who hears from the secret, will hear it. Do you understand? You know the Bible is mentioning a secret altar. It says, "But you don't just finish praying. Go in the house. Close the door. 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 Close the door.
finish praying from the church. When you are praying, close the door, close the windows, and go into your secret place. Are you here today? In other words, after God giving the altar of giving, you need a secret place in your house. Maybe you close it to your bed. Or maybe you build a house just for a room for prayer. Maybe the house is small like mine. You have a place maybe very close to the bed. Where you kneel and you cross the door, you cross no, the door. No, he says in the book of Matthew 36 verse 6. Agamba, but I say for you, when you play, Sabanga. go into your inner room. Close your door. And pray to your father who is in secret. And your father who sees what is done in secret. And your father who sees what is done in secret. Will reward you. Cross and go to the inner room. Tell your neighbor, do you have the inner room? Do you have that pressure no one else can, can go? Do you have that place where you don't allow your friends to be? Out of reach of other people. Where you kneel. In your inner room. Where you have your inner room. A secret place. Where when you are going there you close. You close the bedroom. Close the windows. And you remain there with God. You go there without your phone. You Put your phone aside. You need them to speak no, to God. For the Bible says, My Father who sees in the secret, He will see you. And He will hear you. This is the second number two. Talking about the altars that bring deliverance. It is called the altar of oil. You understand? It is called the altar of what? Of the oil. That is where you anoint yourself. When you are there. You anoint yourself. You anoint, you, you pray for the oil. You come out and anoint your children. It is the altar of oil. It is the altar of the inner room. It must always have oil. Praise the Lord. That is the Bible says five, five, five virgins. Had the altars. By the altars had the no. By the altars had no. Other five virgins. They also had the ramps. All altars, because an altar is a ramp. But for them, they had the oil. The Bible calls them wise. Ask your neighbor, does your altar have oil? Oh, you are just a foolish prayer person. It's the Bible that calls it to foolish. There were five virgins. They had anointing. Others did not have oil. They were all virgins. They were waiting for one thing. And those that saw, they were the ones with the anointing. You fail to buy it, you tell me. Not even a joke with anointing. Yeah, I know what oil can do. Just to be there without it. I wish I knew if these things when I was at school. I wouldn't wonder why one, one, of, one of the my my hobbies. Omukuba Obi Bang. He was a Pentecostal. He was a pastor of the Pentecostal. Yali Musumba Wabalo Kore. He would come with the oil. It was there 
close to his bed. He was sleeping with the uh, uh, he was sleeping down and then up. Uh, he, he would prefer who to sleep with. That, that side of the dormitory was for those born again. We used to hate them. But before his bed, he would clean it every single moment. And he had a very white towel. Before his bed. And there was a bottle of oil. Those two things were always there. The bottle of oil and the tower. There is a very good pastor. It was international. America, Germany, everywhere. By that time, we used never to understand. If I knew. These things I got to know right. I said that I was a fool. Oh my God. Like, how do you have an altar without oil? Something is wrong now. Something is wrong now. So this man called Obadiah had Omu an altar in his home. That he has had oil. He has had oil. And it had something called release to the prophet and obey the prophet. If you have, a, have an order and you have no one that you listen to, no prophet that you listen to, chances you are your altar will dwarf you. Why? Why? Because you have no great instructions. So I say, she said, I have the oil. These people were poor. The only thing they had was oil. But again, in the realm of the spirit, when the only thing you have is oil, you have everything else. Do you know that when you have oil, it is like you have everything else. But many of us, we buy the oil when after even buying the business, then others we shall buy other little anointing. You have already deteriorated. You have made a big business of 50 million. And then you buy the anointing of 50,000. You have looked down on the value of the anointing. Do you know someone with a bed of 2 million? They buy a bed of 2 million TV of 5 million. Jerry of 8 million. Right. And they think of the anointing and they just, I don't have money, let me just buy for this 10,000. They have just bought it's the not a priority. See, 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 see. In my house. My priority is the anointing oil. It is so clear. I can never move an inch. I don't know that the anointing oil is in the house. Because I go to understand. And I use it. It finishes I buy another. Big bottle like this. It must be there. I know Kuvam. Do you have oil? Oh, you buy from that remaining money. Oh, you from that remaining money. Oh, you buy from that remaining money. Oh, you buy from that remaining money. And you expect that anointing oil? No, so the anointing oil works with the value you give it from your heart. The oil is connected to how you see it in the realm of the spirit. If it's the last option to buy, it will not work for you. But if you see it as a priority, I'm passing it to the anointing oil. It will work for you. You even fear. How do you even fear? Okolo tia mbizo nezi nyuma anga toina mafuta mnyumba. Ujanskule kakwe mbira tosi kazo moyo goru tuwe. You will replace it and remain with that spirit. Do you know that bad spirit on the head? The spirit of rejection. 
Do you know rejection? Do you know that you can even be very smart? Speaking very good English. Very tall, not like me. And still people reject you. People hate you. Even if you are in glory. They reject you don't, don't, in glory. Don't literally. People just can just, they can just, just reject you like that. But someone with the oil. Even if they are putting on a, a dress of one thousand, they ate cooked maize and chapat and chapat of two hundred. I have invested everything in me. I know the people they choose to talk to Deborah. They carry the secret from the secret place. They carry the secret from the secret place. They carry the secret from the secret place. They from the inner room. It's the secret of the oil. How did you buy the oil you have? Oil is so cannot go in your mouth. You first bought meat. You bought meat. You bought meat. You bought meat. Then you plant the boat rice. And the remaining money you went. It is for 15,000. But give it to me at 10,000. Do you know those people that they don't buy extra virgin, they buy pomace. But when you bought meat, you said, give me the fresh meat. Even if it is expensive, give me that fresh meat. But if it comes to the time of the anointing, you are buying after negotiating or gaining the oh, you. But when you are buying meat, you don't bargain. The anointing will work according to how you value it. So the man is saying, I have nothing except the oil. The man of God was like, that is enough. When you have oil, you are going to apply the third altar. It is called the prophet. A prophet is a moving altar. A prophet is a moving altar. Because I told you that an altar is a place or something where spirits meet. The spirit meets the physical. If God can speak through a prophet and he communicates to the world, to the physical world, it means a prophet is an altar. Yes. As somebody had. The third altar of deliverance. Is a prophet. For the Bible says. And by a prophet. God delivered every Israel. And also by a prophet. He preserved them. So the third altar. Is a prophet. So now. The prophet, these, two, these, these authors are completing. No, the woman is, the, the, another author is now speaking to him. The third author is now speaking to him. The third author will use the second author of the inner room, which is the, the, the outer of the oil. And how will you access the, 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 the third altar? You will access the third altar because you had the first altar of giving and giving lavishly. Let me show you. Every prophet in the Bible, before accessing him, they had to carry something. It's the altar of giving. Now I tell you what to avoid. Avoid meeting any prophet. I'm not the only prophet. We were looking at an abyss. Since an abyss, they come empty-handed. I assure you, chances are it's a mixture. It won't work. The chidja kola. The first order of a bad day. The chote chaso ke chobadiya. Of giving to 
Echo, to the prophet. Is what is speaking for his wife. When he's meeting the prophet. You see what the woman is saying. In other words, he's referring, she is referring to the first altar that has been of giving. That's how the woman accessed the compassion of the prophet. You don't understand this. But let me tell you this. A prophet is an altar. Nabi, Chioto. Without a sacrifice. They don't operate. When Saul was going to look for donkeys. Why did he tell his servant? Do we have anything? Why did he tell his servant? Do we have anything to give to the man of God? He said, we have something written. That was a something to bring out the compassion of the prophet. You will find that in every deliverance, there was giving involved there was secret prayers involved there was a prophet involved and even that every prophet for them to cherish you there is a level of sacrifice that you have reached I want to You can stand with a prophet and he's realizing all the sacrifices you are doing towards him. For him to stand, the prayers you make for him, the, sometimes the money you give, like, all the things you are doing for him to make his and his ministry that what refers you to a prophet. What when someone is calling me and they say, Dennis gave me your number. Dennis the number you. Because of Dennis. Now he's using the the, the, the works of Dennis. I will listen to them. But when they come and say, I am not a preacher, but then you are a man of God, I will be like, come to church. For the counseling. End of call. But when they say, Tony gave me your number. Because Tony has been standing with me. I will consider the sacrifices of Tony. That's how the third altar works. It works after referring to the first. The first altar of giving. Out. Praise the Lord. The Bible says, By He who received the prophet, get me the verse. He who received the prophet as a prophet, they shall get harvest fruits of a prophet. But he who received him as a brother, we only receive brotherly fruits. When you come to me in your heart, in your humility, you are either submitting to me as a brother or sister. Or when you come to me as a prophet, you will walk through all the ways of being a prophet. He who received the prophet the name of a prophet shall receive a prophet's reward. And he who received the righteous man, the name of the righteous man shall receive the righteous man as well. Praise the Lord. 
when you receive them in the name of a prophet it means i told you a prophet as an is an altar nagamba anti nagambye nabbi choto let me speak it in uganda e choto chechifo the altar is a place omuyo we are the spirit go communicating communicates nebine bikwatuga with the physical abantu people bintu and the things anje and the prophet bible gamba they are the mouthpiece the bible says be mumwa of god ogwaka to in other words chechitu oba muntu moyo that uses to communicate with the present and you also use to communicating to communicate with the invisible that's what makes all the prophets an altar katate buri choto and every altar chikora rwasa da it works because of the sacrifice chino go chiko genda kutegera chino si chigiriza mu bantu banje if you learn this you understand i don't teach it in my head there are many things meche manyu natu okade wa mujana mwe kwa mwabiga but what i know at the time i get old you have learned it a prophet nabi is an altar choto and every altar ate buri choto chikola according to the sacrifice okusinzira kusadaka in other words mubigambe bilala omuchara dukide wana bi the woman ran to the prophet kubango yona bi bamulisa because the prophet was fed taina cha tutte She has not taken Neu any serapjebain but in the times they had that they had something kora. he was doing it the sacrifice you have that the altar you have fed the choto chori siza is the altar that will work for you che choto echijjo kokolera That is why even if they tell you there is a prophet as long as you have believed. Yes, so ngalwa chine wakama ati waliyo nabi okujja kongo kiriza. There is a prophet in Mbalala. Ti waliyo nabi in Mbalala. You they have convinced it, convinced you. Ngaba kukakasiza. That he or she is a prophet. Ti ye nabi. Never go there. Togenda ngayo. Without a sacrifice. Ngato ina sadaka. Prophets are altars. Banabi byoto. That is why. Yeso galwachi. Omuntu ayinzo kuva mbarara. A person may come from mbarara. Naja ya tede nokukakana kwe konanga alese ensigoye and come with their humility with the seed. With something to give. Navo naga enough no rubuto. And they live here and they go and conceive. Inga byari byaga but it had refused she has gone to the altar again ze kuchoto prophet sare altar banabi byoto please go mukama ibazi so now no the reach. prophet nabi when the woman left, went to the prophet he left to the altar number 1 of the prophet again in nabi again to the prophet kati nabi refers her nam to the altar number 2 kuchote cho kubiri He told her. Nyamugamba. Go. Genda. Let me first talk about the other altar. Aso kenjo gele kuchote chila. The altar in the neighborhood. E choto e chili mumelirano. It works in a deliverance. Chikola mukusumulula. Anti bamuti mwa mwangi. Ala zidonda hawe ya kwa. Mukusomba. Abana bange nga barwara anku wange byara arwara koze. That why my children getting sick of my uncle koze. My life is failing. What can I do? First of all, there is an altar. It is called the choto of the neighborhood. Echa echa baliranwa. It is called the altar of association. Chiti we choto echo kukwatagana. Why do we call it an altar? Watch to chiti choto. You have a spirit in you. Nzenyi no moyo mu. If I want my spirit babaya galo moyo to work with yours. Okola no gwange. I must surrender certain things. I know ku waye bintu ebimu. And ignore certain things. Ne bintu ebimu na bi I may be so quarrelsome. Kati omoyo wange. Now his spirit. To come together with mine. Ndino ku ku ignore ku kubire okubiye wala. Ndino bye ndino byerekereze ibyo. Do you understand? Do you understand? Obitegera. Nsoboro kwatagana nawe in other words. Omoyo wange. 
Me and him became like altar so that our souls can come together so that you can do association. There is no deliverance. Here there is no association. Take this from me. Someone with no association is a remain bondage. Now, the, the altar of association is what we are calling the, the altar of the neighborhood. The way you communicate with the neighborhood, associate with your neighborhood, it determines how, how long it will take in your deliverance. Let me tell you something. Not abusing you. Not abusing you. Not abusing you. I have one thing I always tell to silvers. And I tell them, do whatever you can. Never rent. In a place of many poor, poor people. Where they and a place of houses that are cheap. It brings many bad authors. Because whenever there are many poor people, bewitching it's eh? much. Okay. And I always tell them that what you would use to rent that place, when they give you a hundred eh? of ten thousand when it is good, it has whatever you want. But to get it from the other place, it is three hundred. At least to go in that one of three hundred. Why? Neighborhood altars affect your fruitfulness. Birumba Look at somebody that whenever you cook meat, you quarrel. Their life remains in getting ten thousand. Look for someone that whenever they sleep, their children are, because they found them eating meat. They find them with bread and they hate you. That neighborhood that you are in, to build the out of being together with them in good manners. It was even when you start progressing to become a threat. And you need them. the problem? You need them. But because you plate hair every month, when, when you bought a new curtain, in that kind of environment, where you make association, you will not be able to do You cannot rear pigs near a mosque. Even you know there are people that you can stay with that every good thing it hurts them. You just attack each other. The neighborhood altar is the environmental altar. The relationship with the environment be in a place where you feel you feel comfortable. You feel that you are in a good relationship. You may not them, but at least, even the one you don't talk to, you have not equal with them. Do you understand? You may not make a friend with them. But even the one you are not in a relationship, they also have no problem with you. They just see you and you see them also. But these people, you know that you that go to area is dangerous. Because when we pray, we send you to the neighborhood. When you come, I tell you, go and now, go and, and ask for a job. What am I doing? I'm sending you to the neighborhood. Like my if it comes for counseling, I shall pray for her and send her to the neighborhood. Go and enter a salon and talk to them that I want a job. 
Her speech. They were to be there is will be according to the way she was together with them. Have you ever met somebody who is antisocial? That he doesn't he doesn't want to suffer. They don't want to show that they, they money them. That even if they get a job, because that altar did not build it in him. If you want to be in good ways with your neighbors, you leave certain things. They hurt you and sometimes something you leave them. Sometimes they beat your child when you are sing. You there are things that you do are. That is another order. Because you are sacrificing other things and leave them. The prophet told him, told her, go to the neighbor the author of the prophet told her, go to the neighbors for them they have things but they are not using them oh my god one day I will teach you about the empty vessels our neighbors have these empty vessels you can make money from them, but you don't know. You know you and they can't make chapati for themselves. When you come in the morning and you, you fry them, without eat. You know you have empty vessels nearby us, but we don't, we don't want to speak to them. That I want to know, even if you put chapa, they don't buy them. They buy them from another place. Where did it die from? You did not build the altar. How do you tell me that you are on a rental? They are here that I see some rentals. They are like seven rentals near. They all have children. It means when you sit well, when you look well, you can get empty vessels there. You may wake up in the morning and cook cassava for them. Because they feel okay with you, they can take breakfast with your cassava. Have you had these empty vessels? You pray to her, you are nearby 15 women. All of them in two months, they change hair. It means if it is one that gives you 10,000, that would be your 150,000. At least you wash them in the head. But because we did not build a relationship with the neighbors, that's why they don't give us their empty vessels. I don't know where somebody has understood. People will not trust you to give you their empty vessels if you didn't build a relationship with them before. We don't build a relationship with them when we need them. We build it even when we don't need them. So that in the time when we shall need them, it shall be easy for them to work with us. It shall be easy for them to work with us. It shall be easy for them to work with us. It shall be easy for them to work with us. Just imagine that you built the altar of God and the prophet who sends you to the neighbor and borrows. Borrow the vest, empty vessels. Who can give them to you if they know they don't work with them? They will even fear to work Because you have spent time not reaching them. You just pass by them. You are like a, a duck. You just move. You don't reach, you don't do it. Now that a day will come and God will go and talk to them and they give you a job. Praise God. If you don't have these altars, you will know where things are dying and stop casting them off. My daughter in school, 
Be like, I don't have a friend. I don't have a friend. There's a sometimes when a friend you lose the pain, and at that, that, that time, you need empty vessels of the neighbors. You are in the examination hall. You pretend as if you have everything. And on that day, that's when you understand that you needed the neighbor. That prophetic altar in you, it sends you. But even if you borrow a pen, you cannot borrow it from someone that you, not, you don't work well with. Praise God. Praise God. One day they were about to chase me. The children that we studied with, they spoke on my behalf. I was small. I was small that day. That time. And I was so stubborn at school. But I wasn't I wasn't destroying anything. I didn't I couldn't follow the rules of the school. The attacking put on Sometimes it would disturb me and I put him and say, Let me let my leg rest. Now, they could look, see you when you didn't. So we had know. the, the, the spinal points. Spinal points. We had points that when you're going to get the you have 40 sides. The discipline is 100%. Eh? That every crime could Katika remove some points under from you. 20. That whenever you eh? could go under 20, they had to send you to bring a parent. Kati to tuck in, to be sticking in, was three points. Whenever they say that it, they remove three points. Now, I knew I was right. I knew the ways I passed, they had not seen me. But somebody saw me and, and went and removed it. I didn't know. One day they bought my report. I was, I was in negative and I had to bring a pair. I, would, I could come from fund. The transport to bring me was to sell, first sell a boat. I could. I went to a place. I got a man at the village of the muse, muse. Is a, an old man. And what I forgot that they know that my father died. I gave him 1,000 to go and drink his alcohol. I took him at school. I told him all the names of my father. He had to become he put in a suit. He came with those shoes. When he arrived, they the looked at me. The teacher looked at me. I was serious, like a dog eating a skin. You know, when a dog is eating a skin, it shows you that it's eating meat. It wants to show you that this is meat, not hide. It makes no, it so serious. Serious. I was serious like it. Somebody said this is my child. Because this man was very tall. And said this is my child. I said okay. There is a place. He had seen you there. It's like you got somebody from Kansanga. And the headmaster had seen him in Kansanga. You want to call us as a school. If you do any slight mistake, you're going to chase you. They want to wiki bili. I had to come back and they asked for two parents from me. We had that high level discipline. I grew up from a place that had discipline. That is why I have discipline.
I'm very displayed by the way. Nilempisa nyingi. Tabikuniza. So they told me go and bring two parents now. Nibanga magendo itaba zade mawili. So I failed to bring one. Nalemerwa kuleto. Because of transportation. Or what transport? Now how will I get two? Kati nafu na tia babili. Nigairira. I pleaded. Nimbari ni 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 nzirayo ni wana wati kunga ni kutransport ni nzirayo ni ndeta mkulu wabi. I corrected my transport and brought my elder, elder brother. Ni wanga mboze na ite chiso waka tuja mugo wera. He said if you have come with him, we shall chase him. Because we need two people. He did a mistake. The children that we studied with, they refused to study. They stood with me. They said he did the mistake he repented. At least make him fetch water. Like eight peepers. But he has brought the pelotons. Not a big mistake. Just packing it. Because they are the only ones that they removed the points from me. If I didn't have good relationship with the one I stand with, they couldn't stand with me. Because they asked me to fetch 14 grams of water. We could fetch it from far. They are not allowing us to fetch it from the school. But if it is a punishment, you have to go to school, to the well. We are studying like 45 people. Everyone to get to go to in the evening. We went, they fetched it for me. We, we mounted it. And they allowed me to go back in the school. Now what if I was alone? How could I come through? Some things born again. The altar called association. You need it. It is what brings us through. And whenever I pray, God refers us to those. That's why our miracles start from people that even don't pray with us. Don't you know? Hallelujah. Whenever I prophesy a wedding on you, the church will not give you the money for the wedding. We may support you as people. But if your mind is on only us, you will fail. But God has sent to us. Borrow the money they are not using. Go and they give it to you. And use it to do the functions. That's how they support you. And you do the functions. He told him, go to the neighbors and borrow the vessels and bring them. And, and told her, after receiving them, after the neighbors altar, the altars referring you are two. They are two. The altar is the giving and the sacrifice. Praise the Lord. 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 The third altar. Uh, 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 the second I told you it's got what? Eh? The what? Eh? It's a what? Secret altar. A secret altar. A chote che chama. The inner room. It's a senge cho munda. The the altar of the oil. A choto a chama futa. Choko sato nonga juaji tawe. The prophet. A choko na. The fourth. The association of the neighborhood. Chie kwa tagano we chabali dano. Birivina. They are four. Those are four will, will bring you the deliverance. After having the fourth, the prophet is sending her again into the second room, the inner room. 
Every altar sent you to another, but they are four. The altars of deliverance. They are only four. 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 They so when God sends you again and sends you to your neighbors and help you th so that your function can go all way, your function, they support you. Go back in the secret room and it has it for your marriage. All the altars, they take you back so whenever God gives you the altar, and the altar of people come and support you. Then God will take you back to the second one. That learn to do what? To pray in the second one. And he takes you back to the first one. And start learning to give again. If you are to get permanent deliverance, told him, after your neighbor supporting you, go back in your room and close yourself inside. And use the second altar, the oil and pour in the vessels. He got the oil and went back to him that have done all of them. He told him that go and sell the oil. Whatever you got from the sacred prayer is what makes you receive whatever you needed. And he brings the Four time deliverance. This man called Obadia. He had done something that he could stay with the neighbor very well. He had the inner room altar and had it perfect. And even if he had died, the four altars they remained working. As tell your neighbor that the four altars don't die. Even if you die, they remain working for others. These four altars don't well, die. Gaba, if you had given well, something, you had the room you pray for, you had the prophet you pray well, with, well, you could well, stay well, with well, your neighbors that even well, if you well, die, well, they must remain working. It helps children. It, the neighbors will study. Whenever you go in your house, they give food. Because you die after setting all of them. Now these altars, they are the ones that have given this child to leave this bondage of death. Because the, but the one that ate it died already. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. This of the church, it protects these four. That's why I didn't talk about it. So whenever you come here, it, it amplifies all the altars we have. Have you understood? Whenever you come on the altar, it is Somebody has got to recharge and you go back so that you can recharge them but again. if you want your life and the future of your life to be delivered, apply those four altars. Be a giver, not because you are expecting, but because you are giving to God. Have an inner room. A place of secret. Where do you pray from as a person? Have a prophet who speaks over your life. That gives you information and whatever to the attraction. And have a good relationship with your neighbor. Tap your neighbor and ask them that have you heard? We are going to pray for God to pay that debt 
Katonda very good deliverance. You are a tough family. You got to bring a certain deliverance upon your family. Your family has spent long crying. It has cried a lot of tears. You have passed through many things. Your family has passed through many. But you need God. And you are going to pray. We are, I'm going to pray with you today. Now. The God that helped this widow. Let him help you also and stand with you. The God that helped this widow to help you and stand with you. Praise the Lord. Come here, stand on your feet. If we can honor those four steps, 